Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to try and recre recreate another of the Rosa Gallery granulating colors, the golden brown, which is a mixture of PY43 and PBR7. And I've swatched out my Rosa yellow ochre, umber, raw sienna and burnt umber here, because I'm not entirely sure how to get to this and this is obviously very yellow ochre heavy so I need much more of the, the umber so this is a mixture of um, yellow ochre and umber and the yellow ochre is a mixture of PY42 and PY43 I don't have a pure PY43 I don't think let's put a water remix down here even though this is obviously not it and I think from Looking at that, this might be the more likely mixture, but maybe it's raw sienna and the umber as well. I don't really think it's going to be the burnt umber is going to be playing much of a role because the burnt umber is way too warm. I mean, that's like a very reddish burnt umber. I think I've burnt umber that are a bit darker than that. But I don't mind that. But this, I mean, it it's very well possible that the, the pigments they used for their granulating colors are different from the ones they use in their re regular line because this is so dark. And I don't think either of my Either the umber or the burnt umber are gonna be able to recreate this. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna try try the umber with the um, raw sienna and see if that maybe gets a little bit closer because I don't think it is this yellow. So here we are. This maybe. And still so yeah but look at that this looks I mean this almost looks like I think if I just looked at that I'll pull out the bigger swatch in a second as well if I just looked at that I would say that is something like a mixture of umber or raw sienna probably more raw sienna because there's a little bit of warmth in there and the the the, the umber itself is not it's not that warm so I would almost say that's a mixture of raw sienna and um, an oxide black, Mars black, PBK11, because that is so is so dark and that the kind of granulation almost looks like a Mars black. More, I mean, the umber does granulate, but this is definitely not. There's nowhere near. None of these are nowhere near this, are they? No. But as I said, they might just be using a, a different PBR7 for for their mixes because depending on where it's come from or how it's been treated, they can look very very different different, can't they? Hang on. So look here are my here are my swatches and this is the this is the golden brown here. It's not not quite as obvious there, but still. If I just looked at that, I really, I think, I would say maybe the raw sienna or maybe even the burnt umber because it does, in this one, it does look quite warm and quite brownish. And this dark granulation almost looks like um, oxide black. So I've still, I've still got this mixture that I had here and I just added a tiny little bit. Well, I added some more of the raw sienna and I added a tiny little bit of my Rembrandt, Rembrandt Oxide Black in there. Not really very much. 
and probably not enough from the looks of it. So let's get a bit more in there. So okay, this time with more of the oxide black. Maybe a bit too much oxide black this time. So yeah, this one looks like it's not as easy to mix your DIY, or DIY version of it than the other two I've done previously, the maroon brown and the, what was the other one? I can't even remember what the other one was that I did. Is it the magenta grey, of course. I cannot remember that. So here, let's drop a little bit more. So that's almost pure PVK11. I don't know if that is too much or if that is actually... If we're actually getting somewhere now. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll have to let them dry com completely because you can never tell how much in granulates while it's still wet. But from that granulation I'm seeing there, and I mean you can see some here, and that is just that was umber and raw sienna, and that was umber and yellow ochre and that is plasmas black or oxide black. I'll let these dry completely and then I'll have, I'll have another look but from the granulation that I'm seeing here and comparing that to the mixes where I added the oxide black in I think that, that those get closer so Maybe in that case you just have to improvise a little bit if you want to mix that. Yeah, I've run out of space now, otherwise I would try and add a little yellow ochre on them. Hang on, maybe. Let's see if I can add a little bit of yellow ochre in there. Very, very oxide black. Too much oxide black. Yeah, the pr problem with the oxide black is once once that's activated, it gets quite overpowering very quickly. But so there's that. I'm gonna let that dry. I might put the photo in the community tab, or I'll add my conclusions to the description of the video. So I'll let you know one way or another. Just label that very quickly. There. So here we are. Not as successful as the previous two, but still, it's always good to know these things. Thank you very much for joining me today. Please give the video a like and consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoy watching people swatch and figuring out mixes so you can do them yourself. Thank you very much for joining me today. Bye bye now. Bye.